forgot to turn my video on when I was doing this. Well, at least you can see some of the colors. Um, we're doing a poinsettia, as you can see, obviously. And I'm gonna go over each petal because you need to do this twice anyway. So I hold my brush, I take an oval brush and I load it with red, a dark red, and I press and pull. Do the next one, press and pull. Turn it around, press and pull. Turn it around again, press and pull. And I'm doing this on those little ornament um, squares that I've been doing all my little ornaments on on my birch uh, wood that I've glued paper on. Do the same thing. Come back, come back, come back. Okay. Now, we want to shade these little petals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my red inside my brush, but I'm going to take a little bit of that dark green to make my red darker. And I'm going just back and forth on my paper on my paper plate just so that the dark green is on the left side and the light is on my red so no matter which side you decide that you want to do there's two ways you can do this you can do just the tips if you want or you can come from the center and do them down center do them down do them down do them down do them down, turn it around, do the same thing. There you go. Come back, back. Now, I am going to just wipe my brush on my paper towel and pick up my red again and put a little bit of orange in it. That's gonna make my red just a little bit lighter. And I am going to go right over those petals. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna give me like a little highlight. See that compared to the other ones? So again, take your red, put a little bit of yellow. I don't have any water in my brush whatsoever. Come back. Turn around, turn around. And come back here, do the same thing. See, you can paint whatever you like. Come back. Do your light, and your light, and your light. Okay. So now we have a poinsettia leaves. For the center, we're gonna, I'm going to just wipe my brush. I'm not gonna clean it, no water. And I'm gonna take my yellow with all that colors that you have in there, it doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna tap it. And let those colors all blend. In there. Okay, while that dries, I'm gonna rinse my brush off. Wipe it really good on my paper towel. And now I'm gonna take a round brush and I'm going to dip it into my light green and do my holly leaves. And I'm just gonna go around, and I'm just filling in the color. I'm not really being too picky about it. Come around. Do the same thing. There's two on top. Growing up, we had a poinsettia tree uh, in Puerto Rico, and and my mother, um, my dad gave it to my mom many, many moons ago. They're in heaven now, but um, she planted it, my mother who couldn't plant anything, uh, in the backyard. And do you know that every year we had beautiful poinsettias um, flourishing in our backyard? I don't know if it's because Puerto Rico is like a tropical uh, rainforest or not, but I mean, the flowers in Puerto Rico are just absolutely beautiful. That's why I love painting flowers. Um, usually you should have uneven numbers of things. Um, like we should have five of these little um, 
holly leaves. So what I'm going to do is this one here, who's a little bit lighter, I'm going to add one so that we can have uneven numbers. Much better. Yes. See that? I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, my YouTube channel um, has other videos that you can look at and have fun painting. So I'm going to take my green now and I'm going to put a little bit on the top of that brush. See that? And go to the sides of your holly leaves and just put a little bit of that color in there on each one of them. Right? I'm going to start from the bottom here. I'm here now you know that we're not going to leave that as a straight line so I will go back into my light green and go over that and just mush it around as they say so that it looks a little bit more natural do the same thing over here and now you have your shading, but it's not just on one side of the leaf, it's everywhere. Turn it around. Take your light green again, pick up a little bit of your dark, mix it here on the side. Go from the bottom up and put some of that green in there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Do you see that when you try not to do something perfect, it comes out even better? So I will wipe my brush on my paper towel. Pick up a little bit of the light green, come around, mix it all in there. And now it looks a lot more natural, don't you think? We have to connect these guys somehow. So I will just clean my brush, take my dark, dark green. It has a little bit of red in it. If not, I'll just put some in there anyway. And um, let's see. We will have this little guy connect here. And this little guy connect right on top. I'm going to just wipe that a little bit. Turn it around. And these are coming from in here. And in here, see they don't have to connect. They just they just need to know that they came from somewhere. And I'm gonna bring that one out a little bit more because this is the top of a painting and we want the eye to go up. Now, is that not adorable or what? I think it is. Rinse my brush. I'm going to take the back of my brush and dip it in the green, the dark green and the red. And I am going to put little dots here and there. And they'll be all different sizes, which is fine because that's how they are in nature. Just tap them. See that? Mm, that looks pretty cool. Okay, last but not least, I am going to go back to my oval brush and pick up a little bit of my red and some of these petals here that have too much orange, just hit them a little bit with some red. And I'm just brushing a little bit of color in there, not too much. And now you can say, all right, I'm ready to paint the poinsettia, right? And keep sharing those pictures with me because if I see you painting, then that motivates me to paint. If people don't paint, then it's like, well, who's watching my videos? So I hope not only are you watching, but if you're not painting, say, you know what? I didn't paint it, but I think one day I would like to paint that. So I am asking everybody, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am trying to reach a thousand viewers. That's a lot of people, right? But we can make it happen. Okay. So 
put this on, a, on an ornament, put it on your Christmas tree, and have a happy and joyful holiday season. Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you for watching.